Welcome back. We've got our IP12 uh, digital audio surface out of the box. We've got the console engine, uh, mic inputs, analog inputs, uh, analog outputs, digital I.O. all racked up. And we've got our Cisco certified user configured switch all ready to go. Um, first of all, we've got to get some power and we've got to get an Ethernet connection to the back of the IP12. So there's actually two ways to enter the IP12. If you don't want to cut a hole in your counter, you can simply come across the back and through this hole here. Or if you actually have a cutout in your counter and you want to come up from underneath to hide all the cabling, you can use this. Since we're working on tabletop today, we're going to use this uh, I.O. hole here. So simply, we have six screws to remove. Uh, this is typically something the user will only do once because we've got to give it power and Ethernet connections. Now we've got the rear panel of the IP12 exposed. All that's left to do now is apply Ethernet and power to the console. So we have our power plug here. Make sure it's mated the right way. Plug it in. We've got our Ethernet jack that plugs in the rear. All we have left to do now is uh, secure our rear cover, put the six screws back in, uh, and then we're ready to play Ethernet. We've got our IP12 with AC power and an Ethernet connection. We've got our, our console engine blade, the IP88CB, racked up. Then again, this has your mic inputs, four analog inputs, four digital inputs. Each of those digital and analog inputs can actually be split into mono. So things for like codecs and hybrids when we want to use mono sources. Lastly, we've got our uh, Ethernet switch. This is a gigabit switch. Um, it's been programmed and optimized for Wheatnet IP. So all that's left to do is really plug in the cables. You'll notice here that we've got meters that are just scrolling on the IP12. This is an indication that it is not actually connected to the engine. Uh, you'll notice here on the console blade, there's no gigabit link. As soon as we plug these two devices into the gigabit switch, you're going to see a link light here on the blade. You're also going to see the meters stop scrolling. That means that the engine and the console are communicating. One way to verify this is come up to any fader, hold the A input down, and this will give you access to all the resources of the blade that we're connected to. So you're going to see mic 1, mic 2, stereo input 2, 3, 4, and so on. Once you get past the I.O. on the blade, you'll actually be able to see all of this console's mixes. Stay tuned for how we're going to talk about headphone and cue monitoring on the IP12.